from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Virginia finally has new redistricting maps. We'll tell you what they mean for Henrico County coming up in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. And now for the news. The Virginia Supreme Court yesterday approved revised state redistricting maps proposed by the two special masters it had appointed to create them after a committee of citizens and lawmakers failed in its attempt to do so. The approval means that Henrico County will lose one of its six seats in the Virginia House of Delegates but gain a seat, a third one, in the Virginia Senate. All eight of the House and Senate districts that currently include portions of Henrico will shift to other localities and be replaced by eight different ones. The Henrico changes were all part of the first maps proposed by the two special masters December 8th. The two men made a number of amendments, however, to the overall state and congressional map proposals after receiving public input about each of those three maps. Now, the new House districts that will serve Henrico generally will mirror the county's five magisterial districts, with a few exceptions. The 57th, 59th, and 81st would have no incumbents currently living within their borders, while Democrat Rodney Willett, who currently represents the 73rd district, would be the only incumbent in the new 58th. Meanwhile, two Democratic incumbents, Schuyler Van Valkenburg of the 72nd and Lamont Bagby of the 74th, now have been drawn into the 80th district together. Current delegates John McGuire of the 56th, Don Adams of the 68th, and Dolores McQuinn of the 70th will be districted out of Henrico altogether under the new map once the first elections take place in the new districts. Now that's scheduled to happen in November 2023, but it could occur one year earlier, next November, pending the outcome of a lawsuit currently in federal court that seeks special elections as soon as possible in the new districts. The new districts could create some political musical chairs. We've got more about that on HenricoCitizen.com right now if you click on News and Government. Well, COVID-19 cases continue to skyrocket in Henrico and elsewhere. The county has now reported more than 400 new cases three of the past five days after never having reported that many on a single day before. Yesterday, there were 428 new cases reported. And Henrico is now averaging 325 new daily cases during the past seven days. That's an all-time high. So far, there's not been a spike in hospitalizations or deaths related to the virus in Henrico. The county is still averaging just about one new hospitalization a day in the past week. Overall, in the past seven days, nearly one in five people in Henrico who have been tested for COVID-19 have tested positive. That's almost an all-time high as well. A man was shot and killed in the Worcester Village Apartments in the West End yesterday. It happened just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon when police received calls about a shooting. People dispersed as the shots were fired. The police arrived to find the man dead on scene. They have not yet released his identity. If you know anything about the shooting, call Detective Enser at the Henrico Police Department at 804-928-0279 or Metro Richmond Crime Stoppers at 7801000. You can also visit p3tips.com to submit your tips. And right now on HenricoCitizen.com, we take a look back at the year that was in 2021. We've got a list of our top 25 most read articles on our website. You can take a look back at what was making news this year. We've also posted our second annual report that goes a little more in-depth into our coverage and our business plans and how the year treated us overall. You can check those out right now on our website. 